this has to stop. So I'm looking at the schedule for Cartoon Network this week, for the whole week, from today until Sunday. There are only three shows, three shows, with the exception of, of one movie that will air. There are only three shows that will be airing this week. Nothing else. No other show. Just three shows. Teen Titans Go, a show that I've never heard of before called Night Begins to Shine, and a show I'm actually really looking forward to, OKKO. OK now, not only is that a huge issue, not only is that, that, that a huge issue, but today, July 31st, Teen Titans Go is playing the whole day. When the network starts at 6 a.m., it is Teen Titans Go, followed by Teen Titans Go, followed by Teen Titans Go, followed by hmm, Teen Titans Go, followed by Teen Titans Go, followed by, let me see, oh, wait, there we go, Teen Titans Go. Um, yeah, so from 6 a.m. to 7, 4, actually, I'm sorry, from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., which is when Cartoon Network ends and transitions over to Adult Swim. It is Teen Titans Go. For the remainder of today, there will not be a single other show airing other than Teen Titans Go. Well, isn't that just peachy? Let's move on to tomorrow. Tomorrow's got to be better, right? No, it's the same. With the exception of the premiere. The premiere of OKKO. OK so there's OKKO OK premiere. At 6 o'clock, followed by uh, OKKO OK as well, and then more OKKO OK and OKKO, OK Teen Titans Go, and then two more episodes of OKKO. OK so at least we're finally getting the premiere of that show because I'm very much so looking forward to it. Um, but let's go on to Wednesday. Teen Titans Go. From 6 to 8. Then they show two episodes back-to-back, -back, four 15-minute shorts of OKKO. OK um, and then it's more and Teen Titans Go until noon, until they show another hour of um, OKKO. OK then more Teen Titans Go until four hours later, until OKKO OK is shown again for another hour. And then for another an hour and 15 minutes later, they're showing OKKO OK again, but only 30 minutes, more Teen Titans Go, and then OKKO OK again. And the schedule continues to repeat in a very similar fashion for Thursday and Friday. The only difference here is Saturday, um, where we get this show called Night Begins to Shine at uh, 10 a.m., um, but, I mean, that's only for like, an like what is that, an hour? Yeah, only like an hour. So... Yeah, and then Mega Mind shows on Saturday night, which is going to close off Cartoon Network for the day as it transitions into Adult Swim, which is whatever. And then Mega Mind will air again on Sunday at a bit of an earlier time, so it can finish the night off with OKKO okay and Night Begins to Shine, whatever that is. Um, but look at this, man! Fucking look at this! This is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting this is this is look at look at all of that look at all of that yellow i'm pretty sure that's all teen titans go is night begins to shine is that an arc in teen titans go is that an arc like a, they have like a special and night begins to shine is is a part of teen titans go like it's a it's a because I'm looking at the top right the color code and yellow is apparently in Teen Titans Go and Night Begins to Shine is also yellow so I'm guessing that's a Teen Titans Go special so never mind there's only two shows airing throughout the entirety of this week this is look at this the whole thing is yellow throughout the whole week the only thing that's gonna air is car is, is is Teen Titans Go this is ridiculous and look at today. There's not a single other show that's going to air. Now, I mean, that's 
that's I mean we've had that before but only for very special occasions like for example the best uh, best day editor do you remember that it was a whole day where they where they aired nothing but Ed and Eddie but that was for a special occasion because best day editor I, I believe uh, correct me if I'm wrong uh, it's been a while uh, best day editor is during the final season of Ed and Eddie and they were trying to hype up the final episode and so they had a day marathon correct me if I'm wrong that was what best day editor was um, but look at this man this is literally disgusting. Teen Titans Go should not be airing this much. Cartoon Network should not be airing one show like this. Like this is so this is this is this is not this is this is oh this is awful. This is not Cartoon Network at all anymore. This is not what I remember. This is not this is awful. Like it like I, I saw the schedule from like a month ago. Where it was a lot of Teen Titans go on the schedule, but this is bad. This is really bad. I'm not going to be able to turn on the TV at all this week without seeing Teen Titans go. I mean, it's been like that for a while, where a good 90% of the time I turn on the TV, it's Teen Titans go on Cartoon Network. It's been like that for a while, but this... Oh my god, this is ridiculous. This needs to stop. This, this, like, it was kind of, you know, at first, like, alright, I mean, you know, they, they, they should really not air Teen Titans Go this much. You know, putting all this, you know, stuff into one show is a bit much, you know, but they kept doing it. But I was like, you know, I mean, it sucks, but they're still, at least they're airing other shows. But now look at this, and it's been going on for way too fucking long. Like I'm, I'm just tired now. Like I, I, this needs to stop. This is this needs to stop. Like this is not good. Like how how are they making any money? How are they making money right now? Like one thing I've always wondered ever since Cartoon Network had started to go down to the shitter is how they're even making money anymore because their schedules have been absolutely atrocious and. <laughs> and this is ridiculous. This is this is absolutely insane. Teen Titans Go needs to stop. Cartoon Network needs to stop with Teen Titans Go. It's not even that good. It's really not. Like, and this is coming from a guy who's seen it. Because, like, look, there's a lot of people who hate the show. And I promise you the majority of the people who hate the show probably haven't even seen it. They probably watched the first five minutes and they're like... Oh, this is the Teen Titans I remember when I was a kid. This sucks. It's got funny writing, y'all. This is a funny, funny show. But I don't give a fuck how funny the show is. It's it's it does not deserve to be aired all day. It I love like look at me. I love Ed and Netty. But after like an hour of Ed and Netty, that's probably the most I could take. I and I love Ed and Netty. After like an hour, I'd be like, "All right, let's let's watch something else. Let's turn something else on." Because you know, there's only so much. Like even as an adult, I, I kind of have a short attention span. So I mean, when I'm watching a show, that's the same thing, over and over, for an extended amount of time, I'm like, "All right, let's 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 watch something else. Let's you know, let's let's change it up a bit. You know, let's watch something else." Like that's why I miss the old Cartoon Network schedules because they they were so perfect. Like like. Only back then would you have something like Ed Ed Netty and Dragon Ball Z back to back. Like you couldn't get two more different shows. Or um or Ed Ed Netty and um what am I thinking of? Oh Ed Ed Netty and Powerpuff Girls. They used to have those back to back. Do you remember the boy girl boy girl marathon back in the day? Ed Ed Netty and Powerpuff Girls. Like you couldn't get two different shows. You've got a show about three kids in a cul de sac, three boys in a cul de sac pulling pranks on everyone else in the cul de sac, and then right after that, you've got a show about three girls that all have superpowers trying to save the world before bedtime. Like you honestly couldn't get two shows that were that were more different, and it's it's crazy, you know. It's really crazy that Cartoon Network has really gone to the shitter like this. And Teen Titans Go is a show that doesn't deserve this like it's it's not a bad show but it's not a great show either like it, it, <laughs> it's literally a show made for kids that have you know super ADD which isn't a problem like you know I have um, you know 
I have friends who have ADD and, and all sorts of things like this. It's not a it's not an issue, right? But it's um, you know, there's other types of kids in the world out there. Not every child has ADD. You know, it's not fair to air something like this all the time. It's just not fair. But this needs to stop. This is look at this. This is this is absurd. This is unnecessary. How is Cartoon Network making any money? How? I, I I'm honestly, honestly, I'm flabbergasted, dude. I have no I'm so confused. I'm so confused. How do you make money like this? Just just how? I honestly am so confused. Like they don't promote any of their other shows. Their fucking uh, bumpers and promos are lazy and boring as shit. Um, I just, I, I just, I'm so flabbergasted, man. I just don't get it. Like, how, how are they making any money? How are they they're able to survive like this? It feels like all they've ever been trying to do has been try to nosedive their network into the ground. It's crazy ridiculous. It's so crazy ridiculous, y'all. Like, this is so weird. Very, very weird, y'all. I don't know what's going on with this. But Cartoon Network, you need to stop. Someone needs to pull out the Filthy Frank meme and just say, It's time to stop. No more. No more Teen Titans Go. No more of this fucking bullshit of five or six shows back to back no more we need to stop you need you have an entire library of shows we know you do i know how that shit works you have you you literally this see this is why i'm saying i don't understand why that why they <laughs> why uh they are making any money they literally pay money for these licenses like, like whenever they want to air a show they literally have to buy the license to air it so they literally are, are continuing to pay for these licenses of shows that they're just not airing it it i'm so confused and mad and angry and pissed off it's just it doesn't make sense how can a company be so stupid? Like Nickelodeon was pretty bad for a while. Like they they were pretty bad for a while. Um, but they've gotten better. They have actually wanted to, uh, you know, put forth time and effort into uh, <laughs> into their their old shows, into their history of their shows. Which Cartoon Network doesn't want to do at all. They pretty much basically ignore their history. And anything in their history that they try to bring back. Like Powerpuff Girls. They don't want to bring it back. They're trying to rewrite it. Because they think that they're so much better than they used to be now. Even though that couldn't be further from the truth. They were so good back in the day. But they couldn't be... They couldn't be worse now. Like they could... They literally could not be worse and I think that's so crazy to think about because they're 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 pretty bad now. They've always been pretty bad and I've I've always thought to myself, at least Cartoon Network can't get any worse, right? <laughs> well, they continue to prove me wrong. They continue to prove me wrong. <sighs> oh well. Let's uh let's see where Cartoon Network goes from here. Maybe it's uh in a good place? Probably not. They're probably going to disappoint me again. And again. And again. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, um, yeah, guys. Go ahead and leave your comments down below. <laughs> uh, I am going to love to hear what you guys have to say. <laughs> Y'all are going to have fun with this one, I'll bet. So, um, yeah. Go ahead and leave your comments down below, guys. I'll talk to you soon.